going on everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm diva daddy this is a safe space for diva stands and nobody else and 2k22 is finally out and this is my first video post early release now the game has been out for roughly three days now and boy everyone is uploading their ps5 shares ps4 shares and screenshot to twitter and <laughs> i'll say one thing y'all are in need of some dire help <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna help you. This is what I'm here for. I am the call master. Bless 2K's heart. This year, we've finally been given the opportunity to use custom renders for our cause. So will finally blend in with real life in-game people this year. But of course, every time there's the ability to upload something custom, there's gonna be a couple, you know, technical difficulties here, you know. Not everyone's a Photoshop photo editing wizard. So, yeah. So I'm coming at you today with three different methods on how to create 2K22 renders and upload them into the game. The first way is gonna be Photoshop, which is the way I use it. But unfortunately, not everybody has an Adobe Photoshop subscription. So I have two other methods. There's an online editing tool similar to Photoshop called uh, PhotoP. And the second is a mobile method and I'm gonna be using PixArt. Without further ado, let's get to making some renders. There's different places. You literally have the World Wide Web at your fingertips to find renders for your cause. So the first method, I'm gonna be using Photoshop and I'm gonna use WWE.com itself to find my render. I'm gonna choose Dakota Kai. I'm gonna give her, you know, her new little updated pink hair. I'm gonna do is save the image, basic knowledge, come on y'all. Now what I have already open here in Photoshop is this template created by Twitter user at French CKOs. You know, they held it down for the first few days of release because even me, I was lost. I had no idea what size renders are or the positioning. So this template here really helped me. I'll link the template in the description below so you can download it yourself. But we're going to start from scratch. So dimensions of the image you're going to want to use are 1075 by 1075. You don't have to have that big of a resolution. I'm just going to make it 100 why not all right so now what you're gonna want to do and this like determines like the positioning because some of the renders like there's blur on either side as well as the top and the bottom so you don't want your render too high because the head's gonna like get cut off and be blurry so what i did in this template right is just matched up the head of the silhouette here i'm not sure how tall this is but we're gonna go to the one we did and just make it get some kind of guide and line it right to the top of the silhouette's head just right at the top roughly it doesn't need to be exact perfect but just around there you need some kind of inch space at the top so let me go take the render that i downloaded and drag it into photoshop all we're gonna do is just enlarge it and i think that's perfect now mind you the area in which like the cutoff for the render it's about i want to say right underneath the belly button to the hips is the best result For best results, try to aim to find a render where it cuts off almost right at their hips. I think that's the perfect cutoff for render sizing. And all you're going to want to do is save as, or save it as a PNG. Please ignore all my files. Dakota Kai render. Done! So the next method, we're going to use the online editing tool, PhotoP. This is like a godsend. Like, this is basically Photoshop online. Like you don't even need Photoshop with this. So we're going to do new project. Same thing. 1075 by 1075 dots per inch, whatever you want to call it. 100. Make the background transparent. Mind you, we must save it in PNG and your background must be transparent because girl, look at this. We can't have that happening. We'll just name it 2K render create other than www.com you have google and like i said the World Wide web at your fingertips so get to search in whoever you want i'm gonna go for miss abaddon from aew so what i'm gonna do is do image search click tools color and transparent this is how you find all transparent background images on google images but we have this photo i would have loved this to use this one but it's only like her boobs up that's not good 
This photo is not as good as the resolution I would want. It's kind of small and it's her full body. So I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to save it, go back to photo P, file, open in place. Okay, here we go. So now this render is a little unique because she's kind of hunched over. So that whole thing that I said about keeping an inch at the top, we're going to kind of have to disregard that for like a render like this. But if we were to use a regular render, okay, so let's just, you know, open Dakota Kai, for example, because why not? See, you would have to keep that same little inch space. I don't know if it's an inch, whatever, at the top, just so your render doesn't bleed to the top of the menu screen, the selection screen, wherever you are in 2K. So I'm going to export it as a PNG. Quality, 100%. Yes, everything's perfect. Save. And there you go. It's downloaded. So my third and final method is mobile, because not everyone has a computer. People have phones and tablets in 2022. We're going to be using the app PixArt now. This is a photo editing app that everyone uses to make all kinds of edits. I'm also going to be using the website DeviantArt, because that is a beautiful source to find all kinds of transparent images and renders. And today, we want a little bit of Anna J action. Miss Anna J, she's like so gorgeous. Her and Tay Conti are killing it on AEW. So let's find the perfect... So let's find the perfect render. We have this one, but it's kind of outdated and it's kind of not that great of a resolution. Oh, this one seems good. Okay, this one's perfect. So we're gonna hold it down, save as, and then open PixArt, new image, scroll all the way down to color background. So here you go, you have a perfect square. Then all we're gonna do is add our photo, size it up. Like I said earlier, her hit, I think this render might be actually like quite perfect when it comes to the crop, but I'm just going to drag it down just a tad bit, just so we create that one inch gap above her head. Apply and save. The website you're going to want to go to is wwe2k.com slash upload, log into your PSM, Xbox, Steam, whatever it may be. Then you're going to want to go to custom portrait, find wherever you saved your images. So I'm going to first upload my Dakota Kai. Not me calling her Abaddon. That's her dominatrix name. And once again, same thing on mobile, wwe2k.com slash upload, custom portrait, photo library, choose oop the file is too big okay so if the file is too big we're gonna go find a compressor website so compress png so go on compresspng.com photo library it's 5.9 megabytes hurry up hurry up hurry up download 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 Okay, let's go back to custom portrait, choose file, what photo library. Perfect. All right, I think we're good. So boot up 2K22, head on over to online if it's working. Open community creations, image manager. Now I already downloaded all my renders. I didn't get it in the footage because I recorded it, but then menu music was playing in the background, not trying to get copyright strike, so. Your image should be there. So after that, head on over to Creations, uh, Edit Custom Superstar, because we're going to work on Dakota Kai first. And she's a little special, and I'll show you why in a sec. So I have this lovely updated 2022 version of Dakota Kai, but she needs a render. Like, I want all creations that I download or I make to have a render this game. I don't want to see any models, period. Like, right off the bat, you can't really there's no option for you to set a render for an in-game superstar whether that's an alternate tire or the original tire etc you're gonna have to kind of like trick the game here so what you're gonna want to do is go to personal information use as an alternate attire set it to no and then go over to custom images find what you just downloaded shout out to all of my beautiful renders select the dakota kai render that we just created also you can edit the name if you want so i named it nxt I should name it like NXT 2000. Because this has been in NXT for the last, like, what, five years? 
And then, mm -hmm. this is how you trick it. You go back to use as an alternate tile and you press yes. And that is going to save the name as well as the render. So next, I'm just going to create random custom superstars. I'm not going to go in depth. They're just going to be blank cause just to show off the other renders we made and see how they look in the selection screen. Let me tell you, I haven't made one call yet all i have is like 20 <laughs> blank cause but just with renders all i've been doing is playing around with renders when it comes to creation creating anything in this game so far because the woman's face texture is broken i don't know when they're gonna update that shit but whatever once again find your render here she is Ms. abaddon now i'm actually very curious to see how this one comes out just because like it's not at the height that you know the recommended render should be at so it's gonna be kind of like small and like hunched but like that's the vibe of the render right she's a motherfucking monster miss anna j what is she a technician striker i'm gonna make her technician because she does the queen slayer once again custom images all the way to the bottom and i believe it's the last one so don't have to wait perfect just do a triple threat so we can see all of them <gasps> perfect next custom abaddon <gasps> looking good see what i mean by the arms blurring out and see now i was concerned because i'm like that's so fucking ugly but when you're actually in the matchup screen like the blur goes away and the full renders there the next energy yes my custom nxt uk arena and there we go that is how you make renders in size and scale for wwe 2k22 after this i don't want to see no stretch i don't want to see no shrunken stretch like some of these renders like took up the entire selection screen like what are y'all doing <laughs> it's okay because 2k themselves didn't even specify like what dimensions or anything they they should have there should be the ones that provide the template on their website they should have like a downloadable list of like templates for renders face textures all the stuff for custom portrait Ooh, are we gonna do a little match here yes you're done that was anna right Done, Abaddon. Done, Anna. Period. Mm. Who else is <laughs> having a little bit of troubles adjusting to the controls? Now, I've been playing it for, what, three days now? And I'm kind of used to it. I think I'm going to do the tutorial again just because I missed out on, like, like, I forget how to do breakers and, like, when you're on the ground, like, you have to time, like, hits at a certain time so, like, you can reverse moves or, like, strike them. Like, I need to go in more depth in the tutorial again and really memorize the shit. But, like, for basic controls, like, I got it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with me elsewhere, you can follow me on Twitter, Diva Daddy. That's where you're going to see me post my car content. I live tweet wrestling shows. That's where I talk my shit. Please subscribe if you want more 2K22 content. I'm going to be doing a playthrough of my rise. Once I get an actual, like, NXT UK and NXT roster, I'm going to be doing weekly reviews of each show, like recreating the matches on from TV in game and like talking about my thoughts on what's going on in the world of women's wrestling and whatnot. Also going to be showing my creation process, how I create cause, et cetera. So stay tuned for that. Also comment below what you want to see. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Diva Daddy. Out.